Hi guys, this is Josh Smith with the Astro Imaging Channel. I am here bringing you another mini tutorial. Uh, tonight's mini tutorial is going to focus on sharpening in Photoshop with high pass filters. Okay, so what we're going to go over tonight uh, is a method to bring a little bit more sharpness to some images in Photoshop. Um, this method is going to work best if you have a starless image. As you can see, we're working on a starless version of M27 here. And the reason that I say it's going to work best with a starless image is that uh, high pass filters will tend to kind of blow out your stars. Um, so you either need to really mask them well or you know, have to have mapped your picture already. So I like to apply these with kind of uh, subtle. Uh, effect. I don't like to, you know, try to over sharpen anything. So a combination of uh, lower opacity um, masks and um, grouping these uh, different layers will help give you a subtle sharpening effect. So the way that I like to go about doing this is that I make six copies of the working layer. I'm going to hide all of them, except for the first two. So usually, depending on image scale, I apply these high-pass filters at uh, different radius, different radiuses, and I start with somewhere around 50 pixels. And if you zoom out just a little bit, you can see that should grab the large-scale structures. So I'm going to apply the first two layers at 50 pixels. And I'm going to change the top one of those two layers to a soft light, the bottom one to an overlay. And I'm going to put those two into their own group. Knock that group down to 50%. I'm going to knock down the soft light layer to 60%. I'm going to knock down the overlay layer to 50%. And now I'm going to do the same thing to the next two layers. For these two layers, I'm going to go down to about 15 pixels. Again, these uh, the radius pixel size kind of has to do with your image scale, but usually I do something like 50, 15, and 5. So I'm going to go through and set this next one, 15 as well. And knock this one down 60%. Knock this one down to 50%. And like same thing as below, bottom layer to overlay, top layer to soft light. Put these two guys into their own group <clears throat> and knock this group down to 50%. And then I'm going to do that one more time. I'm going to do that at just 2 pixel. This will get really the kind of fine detail structure. And same thing with knocking these uh, opacities down here. And then, same thing again, also overlay on the bottom layer, soft light on the top layer. Group them together, knock the opacity down to 50%. And then what I like to do is put all three of these into a group. Then I like to do a select all, edit, copy merged. And I like to use this image as my mask. And what you can see, and this is uh, pretty robust across many different types of images, is just a uh, pretty... Uh, subtle sharpening effect. It seems like the image is just a tiny bit out of focus. Put this uh, last mask here. Sometimes I want to change the intensity a little bit. And changing the intensity of this mask will just kind of 
increase the effect of these sharpening layers. So I just lighten it up just a little bit here. And you can see just a nice little subtle sharpening brings out the details and that mask also does a good job of not bringing a lot of noise into these uh, low signal to noise ratio areas. You can see it just has a very minimal effect on those areas and then on the sharper areas that have lots of good details has a uh, has a nice sharpening effect on it. Um, and with everything, you know, try different ways of doing this on your own and try different opacities and you know, try different things with whether you have stars or not, but um, it's kind of a, a good base method for getting some good sharpening on multiple scales uh, in your image all at once. Alright, thanks for watching.